What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Well, well, well. In an interesting turn of events, it looks like CJ Ross, the fucking bitch. Sorry. Um, the judge who scored the Floyd Mayweather Canelo bout of 114 to 114 draw has taken an indefinite leave of absence from working fights. Um, it looks like the pressure is amounted. She got such criticism for her decision and calling that fight a draw. And on top of that, she's had other suspect uh, decisions. Timothy Bradley versus Manny Pacquiao. That was another highly disputed one. It's led a lot of people to believe that she's corrupt, that she took a payday to score it fucked up, that if Mayweather had a closer fight or a tougher fight, with um, Canelo and wasn't able to outclass him in the manner that he did that it was going to be a robbery there's just a lot of people talking I personally did a video about it um, the title was Ego Thoughts CJ Ross is a bitch um, a lot of people were commenting feeling what I was coming from and what I had to say I think people like that are despicable and they further corrupt a sport that I love and that I've grown up watching and I, I don't think there's really any room for them um, Boxing has had a long-standing bad reputation. It doesn't have a governing body like the NBA or the NFL. Um, so it's kind of like anarchy. People um, make their own rules. Las Vegas in particular has been a, a place that's notorious for just gambling and things being done and people getting paid out and just shady behind-the-scenes deals and stuff and like gam like just gambling, hedging their bets and just different stuff like that. So between the two not having a governing body and like really any kind of official committee that enforces um, the rules the same way the NFL or NBA does it makes it hard for boxing you do get people who might be getting paid off and different stuff like that um, in the last two years I can think of countless fights where I thought the person who had their hand raised at the end should not have won um, Borgos versus Rocky Martinez uh, Rocky Martinez is a Puerto Rican champ. I think he's the only Puerto Rican champion that's out right now. Um, I don't think Rocky Martinez won that fight at all. And I thought Borgos was uh, robbed in that fight. Richard Abril versus Brandon Rios. I like Brandon Rios a lot, but I don't think he won that fight. Um, you could also say the Manny Pacquiao with Timothy Bradley. I do think, however, that fight is a little bit closer than the consensus or what people um, make it out to be. But Pacquiao did land the harder punches. And the reason I think he didn't do himself any justice in that fight, I would have scored it for Pacquiao. From what I remember, I would have scored it for Pacquiao. But people were making it like Tim Bradley was getting blown out. I think Tim Bradley, based on his work rate, even though he wasn't hurting Pacquiao the same way Pacquiao was uh, looking to hurt him, I think Bradley weathered the early storm. He won the championship rounds, which is important because that's the last thing you remember before you tally up all your scores or whatever. And I think he had a higher work rate. I think Pacquiao didn't look like he was in great shape. So he, he seemed to be slacking to me and fighting in spurts and portions of the round. It'll be a three-minute round, and he'll fight or flurry for the last like minute. And in the professional elite level of boxing, I don't think that's necessarily good enough. So depending on how you look at that, that fight could be scored different. Are you going after after whoever's hurting the their opponent more, or what are you, what are you looking at? But Timothy Bradley by far was busier. He caused Pacquiao to miss, so you could have scored that a little bit closer. I still would have gave Pacquiao an edge in that fight. Um, but this this C.J. Ross decision with Mayweather Canelo, I it just I don't I seen her scorecard, the round that she gave him. I can't see how you can even give him some of those rounds. I know hardcore Mexican fans that I've talked to that they wanted Canelo to knock Mayweather out. They were on board they thought he was going to do it they thought he had all the skills and they said after the fight you know what ego canelo lost that but he'll be back i'm still a canelo fan he'll be back but he clear and concise lost it um actually i know a lot of mexican people that are giving canelo props for taking the fight yo but they're also giving mayweather props because mayweather stood in the pocket a lot and he thoroughly outboxed and convincingly beat somebody 
who was supposed to be the toughest challenge of it, of his career or in the last couple of years, just depending on who you talk to. So I know a lot of people that were just giving it up to Floyd Mayweather for his performance. It was very superior, and a lot of people didn't think it would turn out like that. Hell, I didn't think it would turn out and look that easy. Um, I knew he would win, and I said that in my prediction video, but I thought there would be some potential oh shit moment, moments with Canelo because he's a good boxer. Um, he does bring some experience because he's been fighting since 15. He hasn't been fighting the same caliber of opponents like Mayweather, like Diego Corrales and Gennaro Hernandez is, but he's still been fighting for a while. So there's a thing called learning on the job. As far as CJ Ross, she's a bitch. Like I said in my last video, um, the other judges in the Canelo Mayweather scored at 117 to 111 and 116 to 112, which is way more reasonable. Some people scored at Mayweather a shutout and I'm, not opposed to that either. But if you want to give Canelo rounds for making it tough, and um, he did show a better, improved defense. He tried to mix it up. He tried to adapt. The fact of the matter is he just doesn't have the experience and or the technique right now in his career to fuck with Mayweather. And that's what it was. But it was a clear and concise Mayweather victory. So CJ Ross, I don't know what the fuck was in her mind in this fight same thing with timothy bradley versus manny pacquiao even if you did have bradley winning she gave bradley seven rounds and pacquiao five to me even if you had bradley winning it should have been if you had him winning it should have been like that should have been a draw if anything you know what i mean as opposed to this like out of it's just it it leads me to believe that you don't know shit about boxing or you're getting paid off either one of the two like i don't see how you score these fights like I don't know if there's a judging course or class. I haven't really done my research. I do my research on boxing, um, about what it is to box and the sweet science aspect. But I don't really, to be honest, know much about the judging and where these judges come from, their background, what kind of schooling or training or what it takes to get certified to become a judge. But based on her shitty performances, I think it's it's horrible. She's horrendous. And I don't think we need people like that in boxing. So I don't know if she's seen my video and seen all the comments. Maybe she typed her name in to YouTube, CJ Ross, and then seen, oh, what is this? Oh, my word. CJ Ross is a bitch. And then clicked on my video and watched it. I don't know. But hopefully she did see it. And that led to her stepping down. Either way, it's a good thing for the sport of boxing. I don't think she is um, educated enough in boxing or she's willing to take payoffs or whatever caused her to make these grave um decisions to score the fights as she's seen i just again i don't think we need people like that i've talked to plenty of boxing heads on youtube different forums i've talked to boxers and there's a lot of people that know a lot about the sport of boxing how to judge a fight how to look at it objectively how to not have favorites and i think those people would be better judges than cj ross um so i don't know that's really it so she she basically did a Richard Nixon and impeached herself. She stepped down before she was probably going to get investigated or fired or whatever. Hopefully she never comes back. Um, again, I don't even think Canelo thinks he won the fight based on what I've seen from him post fight, his interview. I think he underestimated Mayweather thought he'd be able to, to connect with him and hurt him. And he was just, I think he was impressed or shocked by how elusive Mayweather was and how hard it was you could watch all the Cotto and Mayweather tapes and the Castillos and be like, oh, yeah, I got him. I got his number. I'm younger. I'm stronger. I'm bigger. But that's the thing with Mayweather. He finds a way to win. He's very crafty. He's very experienced. And it, he's hard to hit. And he'll frustrate you. And that's exactly what the fuck he did to Canelo. And, again, I don't think Canelo thinks he won. That's from everything I've heard. It doesn't sound like it sounds like he's giving Mayweather his props. Like, oh, yeah, he beat me fair and square. So, if the person who lost is kind of embracing the loss and he's upset about it, but he's still embracing the fact that he lost, how the fuck is the judge going to score a draw? You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't make sense. The person who fought was in the actual ring doesn't believe he won. And the judge seen it as a draw when none of the other judges or no one at home and all the people that commented on my video didn't think, think it was like that. Like, it's boxing. It doesn't really make sense. So she stepped down, which is great for the sport of boxing. And that's really it on this story. Let me know what you guys think. CJ Ross took an indefinite leave of absence. And I think the boxing world is a better place. Let me know what you guys think. As always, hey, comment or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.